Hi, this is Julie. After creating this Easter Lily cross design using Make the Cut, I thought I'd like to add it to a pop-up card design. So I decided to use Pop-Up Card Studio to do that. This is the card that I came up with and I place this card in the gallery in Pop-Up Card Studio, so I'll show you where to find that. First I'll open a new page in Pop-Up Card Studio. Then I'll click on this heart icon to open the library. And then I see a tab here first for basic shapes, your shapes, and then another tab for online content. And when I click online content, there are 82 cards now ready for users to download and to use for personal use. And I added my design for this lacy cross pop-up card in the library or gallery and to get that to use as is you click on download and it opens on your screen ready to cut or to export as an SVG and use in other cutting software. I'd like to show you now how I created this card in case you would like to modify it a bit or make one similar or use even a different shape with different text. So to do that I will open up a new page. I'm going to set my page to 6 inches by 6 inches but you can create your page any size that you'd like. I'm going to go over to my design and make the cut and select it by clicking on it and then copying it. Edit copy or even control C. Nice thing about make the cut and pop up card studios you could copy between them and paste. I can go to edit here and paste and my design will come right in. It automatically pasted to the plane that I had chosen here which is one inch and I really didn't want it at one inch. In order to get it elsewhere I can cut this design by going to edit, cut, changing my plane to where I want it to be. I'd like it to be at a half inch, 0.5 and enter. And now I can paste it, edit, paste, and it'll be on the half inch plane where I want it to be. Now it's a little bit large but that's okay because I'm going to trim it first and then resize it to fit my page. To trim it I'm going to use this cropping tool on the left. Click it and I'm going to change the snapping to 1 28th of an inch because I don't want to take too much off of these. But I do need to take a little bit off to make a straight lines so that it will attach to my card. So I'm taking just a little bit off of the top and a little bit off of the bottom so that I have straight edges. Then I'll click on the left selection arrow and we'll resize this to a height of let's say 5.5 inches and enter. Let's see if it will fit there. There's a white line here. And that white line will allow me to close the card without the pop-up showing out at the top. So I want to make sure my design is under that white line. I'm going to click on this vertical center and align to bottom plane. It says it's already there. I'm going to make sure again. Center, drop to the bottom plane. And I'm going to inspect that. It looks like it's a little bit higher than that white line. So I'm just going to drag it down just a little bit so that my design is not any taller than that white line. And again I'm going to center it. Make sure it's dropped 
to the bottom plane. And just to make sure that it's where it needs to be, I'm going to go into Print Preview. And I see that I've got score lines at the bottom and the top, so that worked. So now I have a basic card that has just a cross on it, and I could cut it and save it as is. Now I'd like to show you how I might add text to a similar card. I'm going to open a new card. 6x6 six six is fine. This time at the 1 inch plane, I'm going to add some text before I add my cross. And I'm going to click on the T, click on my page, and type in He is Risen and then click Add. Just as I did with the cross, I need to crop the tops and bottoms of my text and I'll use the smallest snapping size to be able to just crop just a tiny bit off. I'd like to just take a little bit off the top and a very little bit off the bottom so that I have a straight edge. Now I need to resize this. I'd like my text to fit on the card first of all. I will set my height and unlock this. I want my height set to 1 inch so I'll type 1 and enter and then I need the width to fit on the card. Since the card is 6 inches maybe I'll make the text 5 inches and press enter. And now I'm going to center it and send it to the bottom plane. Now I need a platform for the cross to sit on and to make that platform I'm going to press the space bar and now I see the yellow lines that I can use for drawing my platform. I'm going to click on the pen tool and I'm going to change the color to gray so that I can see my lines a little bit better. Zoom in change my snapping to an eighth of an inch and now I'm going to draw using auto quad. This will make automatically make a rectangle connecting the top of the text to the back of the card. And what I want to do is make sure I see a dashed blue line and a dashed red line at the edge of my yellow line. So I left click there I'm going to go over to the right with my mouse and look for, again, the blue dashed line on the right, the red line at dashed in the back, and left click, and now I have my platform. I'm going to press the space bar, and this time I'm going to take my position back to 0.5, a half inch, and now I'm going to go to make the cut. Control C, copy my cross. Go back to Pop Up Card Studio, Control V. First, I have to select the arrow at the top, Control V, and I have my big cross, and I need to resize it. And probably I'm going to need about, I'll well, start with about 4.5 inches on the height. And I'm going to undo that because I want to lock it. I don't want to distort the shape at all. So 4.5 inches and enter. And I still have to I'm scroll out. I still need to crop off the top and the bottom of the cross. And I'm going to change this snapping to 1 28th of an inch and just crop just a tiny bit off the top and the bottom so that it will be, have straight edges for the tabs. So with it selected I'm going to center it and drop it to the plane and I see that it fits nicely under the white line. 
So now I'm going to click on the space bar, change my snapping again to one quarter of an inch, and zoom in. Use the control key to move down a little. So I see my lines here. I'm going to click on the pen tool and I'm using the auto quad still. So left click where I see the red and blue dash lines. Then left click to the right where I see the red and blue dash lines. And now I have a tab at the top. I can view this from this side just to make sure everything looks good. And I can view this in print preview to make sure that I have my score lines all connected at the bottom of the cross, at the bottom of the text, and at the top. Now it looks to me like maybe I don't have my text here cropped well enough because some of the lines are black and some are red. They all need to be red. So I'm going to hold the D key down and click on my text again. And I'm going to need to crop that. We'll take this snapping back to 1 28th of an inch. Click on the cropping tool. Crop off just a little bit more to make sure that the bottoms are all cropped off. Now what I want to do is lengthen that so that it connects to the bottom of the card. It's kind of hard to see the card there, the bottom. I'll just move it up center and drop it down so it's on the bottom plane but I'm not sure that it's connecting on the top. To make sure I'm going to go to File, Print Preview and see how that looks. Now I see I've got the red lines at the bottom, I've got the blue lines at the top, red lines at the bottom of the cross and blue lines at the top of the cross. That looks good. I'll also check to see, I'll zoom out and check to see if when the design closes if that cross is going to stick out of the top of the card. To do that I'm going to slide this slider here to open and close and it looks like that the design is not sticking out of the top, so it should be okay, ready to go. Now I can also get a print preview by clicking on the virtual snapshot. It does take a little bit of time to render, but this uh, design will be uh, ready to cut directly from this software to one of the Make the Cut compatible cutters. Or I can render it to SVG in order to cut on one of my cutters that is not supported by Make the Cut. I have used solid lines for my folds so that I can use an engraving tool or an embossing tool. And we have the choice in this software to render these as dash lines if we want to cut them with a blade or as solid lines as we prefer. So as you can see I'm getting a rendering of my design here. You can use that to get a sense of how it's going to look on your finished card. And when you're happy with the way it looks, then you can go to File, Export, Project Rendering, and you can either select to machine 
or as a SVG file. We can save it as SVG, Easter Lily Cross pop-up card, put my initials on it, and save so that I can use it with my other cutters. I can also export the shapes, project shapes as SVG. And I can if I wanted to I can change the rendering options. So I have it selected to do solid lines, but I could select dash lines for any of these valley lines, mountain lines, hinge lines, or, or cut lines. I can select the type of line that I would like. So I'm going to leave mine solid. And when I export the shapes, then that allows me to add color to any section of this card if I want to. Then I don't want to forget also to save my card as um, Easter Lily Cross pop-up card. So if you own Make the Cut, you can import that design into Make the Cut to a new page. Go to SVG, find the, the cross pop-up card, and open. You can change the color. You can right-click and select to each its own, then you get the score lines on a different layer in case you want to use a different tool. Get rid of the empty lines. I can hold a shift key and click on just the score lines, send them to their own layers so all the score lines are on one layer. I can change that to score. And I can change these lines to cut so that I can do these in two passes. And I'll save my design. Save as. Easter Lily Cross pop-up one. If I want to, I can import the shapes as well. SVG. Let's say I find the shapes. Maybe I didn't export them. If I go to File, Export, project shapes as SVG. I get those and now I can bring those in shapes. Now let's say that I wanted to make the text red. I could cut them out of red.